and I'm laggy. There we go. We're live. All right. Wait a second. It still says off air on my screen, but. Okay, there we go. Okay. Welcome to the main event podcast, guys. We're your hosts, Sean Dilts, Robbie Dilts over there. Yep. And our guest tonight is one one of the Youth Gone, Youth Gone Wild members, Chris Lambert. Come on, Sean. Get it right. Come on. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yeah. So uh, thanks for taking your time out of your busy night to be on my podcast. No problem. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad you could, you'd, uh, took time out to be on here for one of my, for my second guest. So, yeah, yeah. All good. So, yeah, Matt, Goff was, Matt Goff was his first guest. And... Yeah, Matt Goff, Matt Goff was my first guest, so. Well, right. at least you have something better now, right? <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I seen the other day that uh, on the Big Rob's little podcast, he had Jordan Falco, and he had this, some things to say about Youth Gone Wild, and uh, he said that he's faced, he's faced you guys many times, and he doesn't and he doesn't think that he has to he has to defend the titles against you guys. So, what are your thoughts on the Falcos? All right, so here's the thing. I, I did watch that, and uh, well, what I gotta say is, I've never been in the ring with him, so I'm not sure who he's faced, whether it be Adam and Terry, but he's never faced me. Okay. So he's like, oh, I have my dad, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like, okay, yeah. But I will eliminate that problem, okay? Ron's a big guy. I'm a big guy. So right there, it's on equal grounds, and I think that we have a chance to beat them. All right. So uh, what, are you, uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on uh, Matthew Mountie? Matthew Mountie. Oh, he's not over. Where, where do I start? Where do I start? For one, he's not over. <laughs> he's a Canadian disgrace. Yes, Canadian, Canadian disgrace, Canadian my son. Disgrace. Yes. <laughs> that is right. <laughs> <sighs> All right. So I feel like. He whines and cries when he doesn't get his way. Okay? He's almost like a little baby man, I guess you could say. You know, like, he just... He, 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 he quite simply just can't get it done in the ring. Like, he, he tries and tries, and I said, whenever he loses, he just whines about it. He's like, oh, I, I need another shot, blah, blah, blah. And then even when he gets another shot, he just can't get it done. All right. Uh, what made you become a wrestling fan, and what what made you became became to like like wrestling? Like, how did you how did you start liking wrestling? Well, it starts when I was like probably like six years old or so. I uh, I was friends with a few kids, and I Terry included, and then I had a couple friends, Cody, um, and then I, I'm not sure if you were around, but uh, um, Jess Ice. He, he was a friend of mine, too. I brought it to the business. But uh, we just played around backyard wrestling. I, I just watched uh, Beth, and that was Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, and that. It just it, it, it took me. It, it just uh, I, 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 I was excited to see it. You know, it was. Uh, Robbie? Oh, no. Oh, okay. He was kind of legging out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> Somebody's got bad internet. <laughs> you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Sean, get your priorities straight. Get better than internet. <laughs> hey, I reset my Wi-Fi box before I started this. <laughs> uh, Chris, uh, what made you become a wrestler? Last time with Matt too. You had to reset. Yes, your box. it happened with Matt. Yeah. Jeez, get get. Get your priorities straight. Get a better box. <laughs> I'll do that, yes. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, oh, yeah. yeah. So, 
back to what I was saying. Like it, it just all started when I was a, a little kid, and then I just I, I loved the action, and yeah, it just I wanted to be a wrestler ever since then. Hmm. Who's your all-time favorite wrestler? It would be Shawn Michaels. All right. <laughs> what's your thought? Um, what's your thoughts on uh, Clayton Sherlock? And the whole thing that he's doing with like, hitting women and stuff. What's your thoughts on that? Oh, you know what? I, I absolutely despise it. Like, I, I understand where he's coming from, where he wants to get noticed, and this is the best way to get noticed because looks what happened. Everybody's talking about him. Whether it be good or bad, people are talking, right? But I don't condone hitting women, and even worse, minors. I know Leah's have interfered in my match when I had a tag team match, and then she stopped me from going over on uh, um, Tyler and uh, Matt. I didn't hit her, though. <laughs> <laughs> I pushed her out of the way, but I didn't hit her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what separates you and Clay. That's what separates you and Clay from the exactly. whole woman and abuser title. Yeah. She didn't belong there. I will say that she didn't belong there. She stuck in her nose where it didn't belong, but I'm not going to hit her for it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the part when, uh, when Leah came out during his one match against Andre and slapped him right in the face. That was funny. I like that. Oh, good on her. Good on her. Yeah. All right. Maybe then he won't uh, hit women. I, you know what? No, he'll still do it. <laughs> Who hey, am I kidding? Hey, he lost his last match against Patsy Blue, so that was good. I'm glad he, that she finally beat him. Ooh, he lost <laughs> to a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have a dream match against any tag team, and you can team with either Adam Jeffrey or – or uh, Tyler, what t- dream match, take team match would that be? Ooh, that, that's a toughie right there. Um, <laughs> or it could be a six man take if you want to take take with both of them. So I, I honestly, that one's that one's stumping me. <laughs> uh, I was. Probably DX. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Candace. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. Chris out. Lambert, and Tyler Blaze versus Shawn Michaels and Triple H. There you go. That's a good match. There we go. That's a money selling match right there. Pay per view. <laughs> oh yeah, Chris Thorne, book it. <laughs> resolution, resolution next year. Yes. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Do you have any questions to ask him, Robbie? Or? Yes. Um, one question that you probably wouldn't mind uh, him answering is what advice he has for anyone wanting to get into the business? Uh, actually, didn't I already? You answered that on mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, prepare for a life of pain. <laughs> the bumps are hard. It's going to do a lot of wear and tear on your body. But if you love it as much as I do, you'll work through the pain. But it's always going to be there. Always. <gasps> and then my wife over there just screamed out for you. <laughs> thank hey. you. Thank you for that. Thank you for your <laughs> So uh, what's next for uh, Youth Gone Wild? And uh, what's next for Chris Lambert? Oh, well, that all depends. I... Lay. Latte stuff. I'm on a podcast over here. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry, you lagged out there, so we didn't really hear what happened. Oh, she's just going on about the pumpkin spice latte stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she, won't, she won't give it up. <laughs> oh, so what if it was today? Sorry about this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if you love it so much, then just just keep going and going and that stuff. Just. No, they like you've only got like so much in you and that stuff. So like, don't try to be a Ric Flair. You don't try to be you know Shawn Michaels and just keep going and going and going. You know, just enjoy it while it lasts. 
All right. Many many people say that your your wrestling style and stuff is kind of like Bully Ray, so like from Team 3D. So, what's your thoughts on that? Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't really watch much of that. <laughs> I just I, I do what I do. Like I I, I beat people up. <laughs> I, I I I don't like to mat wrestle, but I can if I need to. I don't do high flying, but I can if I need to. But one thing's for sure, you step in the ring with me, get prepared for an ass kick. <laughs> All right. What were your thoughts on the last NWX event that just happened? Uh, it, it was it was good. I haven't really watched any of the footage and stuff because I don't really have much time. I you know, work a full-time job and that stuff, and I got a daughter and wife to take care of, so I, I don't really yeah. care. Okay, I, I, don't, I don't bring in the money, right? Don't bring it in. <laughs> okay, I, I bring in the money to spend it all on Bath and Body Works, but I don't bring it in, right? <laughs> but, um, no, like, it, as much as I did see from being in the back and that stuff in some footage, and I was a really good show. Did you see the whole uh, Matt Goff uh, kind of turning a little bit heel and uh, challenging uh, Ryan Swift? I heard it. I didn't see it. And I wish I saw it because that would that would have been interesting. Yeah, I can't but, wait. Uh, can't wait to see that how, how that's gonna uh, play out. Yeah, we'll actually see whether he actually gets better or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to thank you for taking time out to be on this podcast. Oh no problem. Thank you for having me. No problem. Anything to add, Robbie? Anything to add, Robbie? Anything this you want to say, Robbie? This podcast was just too sweet. That's all I got to say. Just too sweet? Just too sweet. There, there we go. <laughs> Are you going to be at NWX? Yeah. Are you going to be at NWX on Saturday? I will be. And I'm just going to plug this quick. My new shirts are going to be available. Yeah. 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 Everybody's pre-orders will be prepared. You know, I know you, you Robbie's got 4X, and um, Sean, I believe you got a large. A large, yep. Yeah, large. So they right. will be ready. Awesome. I will get one yep. Saturday for sure. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Just come see me. We'll hook you up. <laughs> NWX, 20 Hertz Road, St. Catharines. Be there. Uh, I'll bring my against there, authority. So. Yeah. I wish I could rage against authority. Ah, <laughs> yeah. There we go. Bring that sign. Oh yeah, I'll be getting you guys to autograph it. Yep. Yeah, we'll do that. No problem. <laughs> All right. Su- Too sweet. Thanks for being on the podcast today. Oh, thank you. Yep. This has been the main event podcast. There we go. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right. We are out of here. That was awesome.